Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I'm up and at it early this morning. The husband goes back to work today, so that leaves me and the boys home alone. So, with that being said, I'm taking a day and doing nothing but cleaning and laundry. Of course, I'm cooking just a little bit, but I'm like a crock pot meal. Let's make some Mississippi chicken, y'all. So, first thing I did is I got my crock pot out and I'm going to put it on high for the first hour. And I'm going to take two and a half pounds of frozen chicken breast. Don't even have to wash this. You just cut and dump, cut and dump. Then I'm gonna add one stick of butter. And I am making this my own recipe. I'm changing up something just a tad. Piece of paper on that, okay. Two and a half pounds of chicken breast, frozen or fresh, whatever you got. One stick of butter. One package of ranch dressing, dry dressing. Sprinkle that over the top of that. And then you're supposed to use au jus sauce. I don't have any, and I ain't going to the store because it's too cold. But I had a package of beef stew mix right here. So this is what I'm going to use instead of the au jus to give it a little flavor flavor. You can try and see. It might be good and it might suck. I don't know yet. So we got that in there. Next, we're going to add... You can use pepperoni, pepperoni peppers, the whole ones. I'm using banana pepper rings because that's what I got. And this is 12 and a half ounces, and I'm going to use half of this jar to start with, juice and all. Pour it over it, just like, I'm going to use the whole jar, piss on it. There we go. Since I got two and a half pounds of chicken, we're using the whole jar. And then I'm just going to sprinkle over a teaspoon of garlic powder. There we go. We're going to put this on high for the first hour, and then I'm going to cook it on low for three to four hours. And see how super simple that was? Mississippi chicken. Again, it was two and a half pounds of chicken breast, a stick of butter, a package of ranch dry mix. You're supposed to use au jus. I didn't have au jus, so I used beef stew mix. It smells really good, the flavor does. A teaspoon of garlic powder and one 12 ounce can. It was 12 ounces, right? Yep, 12 ounce can of banana pepper rings or pepperoni peppers, whatever you got on hand. We're gonna cook it long and slow for four or five hours and then we'll see what we got. All right guys, the Mississippi chicken is finished and it has, it's perfectly tender and I just shredded it and it just fell apart, which tells you that's a great thing. Um, let me bring you in here and let you look what this looks like. See this? It is very, very good. You can put this over rice. You can add pasta to this. You can add sliders with the Hawaiian rolls, or you can just eat it by itself on the side. That's what my family likes. They don't like it. We're just not bougie people. We're just good old country folk food people, you know? So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this to the side of our plate. I'm gonna fry some sweet potatoes, make some green beans and some cornbread, and that's what we're gonna have with our Mississippi chicken. Let me get a piece knock off some of the juice so I don't sling it everywhere. Look at this, do you see this? It is so tender, so tender. And I'm gonna take a bite. It is really hot. I'm so guilty of doing that all the time. Mmm. You have a hint of the banana peppers in there. I think that's what makes it so moist. But that is very, very, very good. And you know, I didn't have the au jus to add to it, and I use the um, beef stew mix. I had to swallow that last bite. I can't tell the difference. This is delicious. I mean delicious. My boys have been coming in here the last hour and picking through it and snacking on it, and they're like, this is so good, it's so buttery. So go make you some Mississippi chicken. It's a little different, and I hope you like it. I really do, and you don't have to use the banana peppers. You can use pepperoncinis. But you need to use one or the other because that's where the Mississippi part comes in. Don't ask me why. I don't know. This is just what I've been told. So anyways, we're going to snack on this. I'm going to peel me some sweet taters. We're going to use my um, electric skillet I got for Christmas. I'm ready to break that bad boy out and use it. Every time I get an idea to use it, something happens and I don't get to. So again, Mississippi chicken. You got the recipe on here. Hope you and your family make this. 
and y'all enjoy it and go love them because life's too short. Love your family every day, every day. And I love y'all. And I love y'all so very much. Also, let me show you something real quick. See this? My best friend gave me this. You know what this is? This is a cookbook stand. That's all I'm gonna say right now. We got some good things happening, y'all. That's all I'm gonna say. Love y'all. See you later. Bye.